Oftentimes we don't see the actual fungus that is causing the wood decay. As an example here, we have three logs and at first look you can appreciate the fact that it is being decayed but it is difficult if not impossible to find any kind of reproductive body that is responsible. This is where you find a whole new world if you were to roll these logs over. And in this particular case we have a, a rather large maple branch and if we look if we roll it over just part way we can see very nicely a huge flat or the term we use is resupinate reproductive body of one of the polypores or wood decay fungi. Polypores being named because of the many pores that are present here usually discernible with a hand lens or certainly under uh, some magnification in which the spores are produced for this particular fungus. But you'll notice how extensive the reproductive body is. Also you'll notice that it is totally flat. There's no top, there's no stem, uh, but all the reproductive portion of this is inside the small pores that are making up this very very large reproductive body. Even to this small branch here that was on the ground. Often we find that the, these fungi, especially these flat or resupinate fungi, reproduce here because the moisture relationship is much better. They obviously have the substrate or the nutrition which they are getting from decaying the log itself, but we also need to have adequate moisture for these organisms and fungi um, to go ahead and reproduce such as you see here. It takes a tremendous amount of energy from the vegetative part of the fungus getting the nutrition from this wood to reproduce something like this.